Well, we just got a little bit of snow last night. And they say we're right on the edge whether we're going to get 6 to 10 or 10 to 14. And I started sweeping this off here. The new news said basically our area got 13. So we got some. Surprise, oh, well, it's kind of cleared up now. Now the forecast is staying, still saying till 7 a.m. Wednesday. But they got three to six in the forecast here yet. So how much more we're going to get. But like I say, it's mostly going to be gone by this time next week. Still got, I think by Monday, they have 48 degrees for temp. Plus rain. Thursday's supposed to be nice, and Friday through the weekend, rain just about every day, so. A lot of it's gonna disappear, which is fine by me. Stuff to, well, like I say, first big snow of the year, nobody knows what the hell they're doing. As it is, even though if you've lived in this area or all your life like I have, you should be, have some inkling of what's going on, how to drive. It's a problem nowadays, everybody's got traction control, anti-brakes, anti-lock brakes. I think they're invincible and can drive through anything. Four wheel drive, all wheel drive. I think all that stuff's made people worse drivers. But, uh, yeah, schools were on a two hour delay today. So, the bus that normally comes through here at eight o'clock, he didn't come through here until quarter after 10. And then the snowfall goes through at 11.30. I just don't understand this township. More often than not, they plow afterward. They used to come through here at like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And they do a lot of times too. But that seemed to be the norm back then. Now, like I say, they didn't come through here until after 11 o'clock. And that's the other thing. If it was snowing all day today, school buses would come through here about 3, 4 o'clock. Then the snow piles will go through. I think they're ass backwards. I think in the last several years it's gotten to the point they don't pay extra time, overtime or anything. So if they come in before a certain time, they probably got to pay them overtime. And if they didn't get enough hours, didn't get out in the morning, well then they'll put them out at night and then, I don't know. They say, everybody's got to be guaranteed so many hours, but then you put a certain hour time in and you get paid double time and it screws everything up. So, but it ain't too bad, I mean, a little bit breezy here now. But I got to go do another job. I'm supposed to get down in the teens tonight, I guess, but I got to go. Some water pipes I got to go take care of somewhere. So I'm gonna get this cleaned off and go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's a little over 24 hours later since the lake effect snow warning passed. That we had 18 inches snow, 16, somewhere in there. We had over a foot here at least. And it's practically all gone now. And it's up, it's gotta be at least 40, if not 45, breezy. So that takes us snow down right away. It's supposed to rain here next couple days. But uh, I'm just getting this door fixed so I can be able to feed my cows again here when I need hay again. I'm not, well, I'm better than half done. I got it, I can get this door open. That's all I'm worried about right now. I gotta go, first thing I gotta do is find another two by six. I can get two more pieces that I need out of that, but I'm going to be, but I'm going to them two blocks right there. I'm just going to take them out and replace them. I cut them too short. One thing that happens is when you try to put a 
black bolt through them, it's splitting it, and I think that was part of the problem. This one here, I don't know if it was actually into a piece of wood inside to actually hold anything. It was more in sheet metal. But if you look inside where my vent is up there, that rib right down is where the end of the wood is inside. So I don't know if that one is actually holding anything. That one was ripped out completely. So what I've done here now is I cut these blocks bigger and I put uh, four deck screws in there, three inch or three and a half inch, whatever I got. So it's going through that wood into the other piece of wood, sandwiching all that. And then I got the lag screw holding that one in. I got the tracks hammered back together and uh, I don't know how the hell that was together before because right now my roller's almost the end of that track. I can't really get that this way anymore. And it was over another two inches at least. And I couldn't do what I wanted to do because of that rib there. I was going to, them are splice joints. I got two bolts that push down into the track to keep them from separating. And I, was going to put two of them butted together. So I got two on each side of the track, going to keep it from spreading. Well, the way that's working out, and I probably could have shoved everything over. I think that's why I should have done. Moved everything over and put the splice on that one there. Splice them together there. Because so I got more enough track to go that way. And it wouldn't hurt to have more track out that way. That's the way it's going to be here now. But anyway, both of them our splice joints, one's on the splice, and I say the way it's lining up, I couldn't get a good half splice, so it's mixed. But I wanted, if I couldn't have two together, I had to have one overlapping, so the rollers would pass through easy. And uh, so what I've got there, and then I bought two more regular hangers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Go over two ribs, put a block there in one of them, then slide these two down, go over two more to the third one, put a hanger there, and move that one over one. There's gonna be three there, but more, most of the way the door will be on this side. And that should hold it then. They say, I don't know why they screwed that up. I know I had enough hangers on there beforehand, and I don't know what the hell happened to my hangers, but they didn't put all the... Well, like I said, it's kind of... Well, I think I might have put that one in there, trying to get that back together. Because it ain't the first time I've had to fix this. And then... Another thing I'm going to have to do is get some fender washers or something. This vice joint up here on top of the door is split apart. Drill through that. Put a washer on each side and bolt that together, hold that together. But at least now I think I can get this door open. Or should come open. Either way, I mean it held the door before, so it should still hold it now, but I've had it for about today. Set the ladder down. This is a little bit breezy. I don't want to be up on that ladder. My nerves are about shot from climbing it too. Go up and down, up and down. I just don't like heights. I don't care. But at least now. It's gonna come off and I'm gonna screw it or it's gonna go. metal here grabbing somewhere. Of course you know it only comes off when the weather's bad and you're trying to get it closed. I'm not sure where that roller is. I think that roller would be come out right on that hanger just past it so that should be fine. Well I did grab them newer hangers I put up there and slid them over. Oh well, it is what it is. As long as I can open it. 
And I got a, I say a pry screwed up. I should probably moved all this over six inches. I gotta get a better stop in there too, so it doesn't jump off the track. Because if you don't watch what you're doing and you don't hit this, you'll slide it right off. And this door ain't as bad as the back two to put up. This one got more of a ground mound up there, so I'll go back up in. At least I got the door open. I can get hay in there now. At least I think my batteries are about dead. I pretty much got to put them lag screws in with uh, impact gun. So I don't have enough juice to do that. I think I gotta go find another two by six here somewhere. Two by four there. Thought I had another piece laying around here. Might be something on the back of the truck. The hell's that back there? Is that two by six, two by four? There's two by six right there. Yeah, I got a lot of junk around here. It's just finding what I need when I need it. There's always something around to use. But like I say, I'm done. Done for now. My back is killing me. Just all nerved up for being up on that ladder. So at least the door's fixed. Snow's going down. Can't complain too much, I guess. So, I guess clean this stuff up for now. Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of get ready for winter. Don't have a whole lot of choice about it for what I'm doing. But, uh, I'm taking two tires off that skid steer and putting them on this one. Because that tire's bald, this tire's bald, this one holds air, but not as much as it needs to. You pump 30, 40 pounds in it, there's a pinhole somewhere right in this area, somewhere around here. And you get up around that 35, 40 pounds and it blows off. I put tire jacked in that tire twice, and like I say, it stays... 20 30 pounds, it'll hold air eventually, it loses some. But, uh, like last night when I was moving that bale of baleage around heavy, you could feel it squatting. And, and like I say, this tire ain't a whole hell of a lot better. And it might not last very long. This one, they got cords showing through the side, and that's from the running them tracks too loose. And it scrubs aside, you can see how it's all chewed up. <clears throat> but frankly, all I care is it holds air. For now, I mean, if I have to go get a tire, I'll go get a tire. But that's what I'm doing here right now. Just got the second tire off that one. And uh, put this one back on this one over here. But the other thing I'm doing with this too is I'm taking my wheel spacers off while I got the wheels off. I already got the one off over there. Because if I happen to use them tracks again, chances are I won't be going on this skid steer anytime soon. And I definitely need the wheel spacers to put them on the other skid steer. So. Oh, come on. Get that off. Just a little bit too twisted. It will not move. Okay. It ain't that tight. There. And of course. I don't know what it is about this new Holland skid steer, but no matter what rim I've had on, this is the second set of rims I've had on that skid steer. And they just will not come off. You have to hammer on them, and I hammered on it, and I hit the bead just right. And, and uh, broke the bead, now I can't get that to hold air. So now it's just going to go back on that skid steer, uh, just to hold it up. 
I wanted to, I was gonna put this inside. I mean, it runs and moves and stuff. So I got bad axles on that side. And I was gonna move and park it in the back building back here. Put charger on it the other day, charged it. Went to start it well, about two days ago. And it's about ready to fire, so I stopped. I let the starter cool off. Went and hit the key again, and I can't remember if I heard a sizzle or a pop, but I have nothing at the key switch now. So I don't know, something shorted out somewhere. And I'm just not going to take the time. So now, once I get these tires on, I'm going to take a piece of plastic and drape over the back of this thing. And it's just going to have to set out. There ain't much more I can do with it. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to monkey with it right now until I can get money. They like say, I know this axle shot, completely shot. I ran away too long, and there ain't nothing left of that axle. That axle, I think, is bad too. That one might be rebuildable, but this one's got to be replaced. So, until I figure that out. But I guess I'm going to put this back on. I don't think anybody needs to watch me mount a tire on a skid steer. Pretty straightforward. You put it on, put the lug nuts, tighten it down. So if something else exciting happens, I'll be back. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing I'm taking that tire off. I never noticed this until I just rolled it around here and my hand hit it. That sidewall about ready to blow out on this thing. So I guess this tire is shot. This is one of the pinhole. But I say all it's gonna have to do is hold this up. I'm almost tempted while I'm at it to go ahead and take this tire off and put it on there. Not that it'll make any difference, I think that. Because I've already taken one tire off that skid steer for this one. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with that tire, put that other one on. But this, these orange rims are the second ones I put on that skid steer. And you say, common is just hard on them, even that one I just put on the front of that one just hammering it the bent the flange all up you can see it's all just corroding away them rims only are only about 10 years old I bought them rims and this is the second set of tires on these rims but I bought tires and rims off eBay they were like 750 bucks at that time, this is like I say, this is about 2012-2013. But, uh, but the same thing happened to John Deere skid steer. The rims rotted out. And I don't know what the price of them are now, but at the time, these orange rims, I got over at the Bobcat dealer. Now, they're not Bobcat rims. They are painted, bo well, I don't even know if that's Bobcat orange. But they're an aftermarket rim, that's what they sock over there. And I swear, these rims are twice as heavy as them rims over there. I mean, it's a lot heavier metal in them. And these rims have held up pretty good. Of course, they don't see all that much manure. It's more mud that they see. That skid steers want to scrape the barn with, so it's always a manure. But I guess if I can get that tire on it without blowing up in my face and... I'm going to grease things up. I greased the axles on that side. I don't know if I can reach in there. That's the problem with the tires on. You can't get into that, them grease fittings on them axles. If you really press at it, you can. And maybe I should, well, I got to check them anyhow because that's the wad of twine I just pulled off this back axle. So that catches in there and wraps up. So. But, like I said, I'm going to get that tire on, grease this up, and I'm going to grease up my snow plow. I mean, it's only got about three grease fittings. One on the pivot. I think it's only got the one grease fitting on that main pivot. Oh, no, on the hinges back there. 
grease it up even though I'm not going to be able to use it here for two weeks yet at least. I got eight to, or 10 to 18 inches of lake effect snow between Monday 4 a.m. till Wednesday 7 a.m. So we're about to get dumped on with snow, but this won't be going on the truck until I get that wheel bearing changed. And I don't have an appointment in that until the 11th, so and that's the other reason why I want to get these other tires on here. It'd be a little bit better tread. But I got chains I put on the front two tires, and with the chains on, I can go pretty much anywhere in the driveway with these. But like I said, I'm more concerned to hold an air. But like I said, I might have to be plowing driveways with that, or put my back blade on this tractor to plow driveways. I mean, I got, I got several ways to do it.